the large number of gravitational waves detected so far by interferometers around the world implies that there could be a background of gravitational waves created by the superposition of numerous incoherent sources happening throughout the history of the universe. This would create a background coming from all directions with a pattern that can be analyzed statistically. Such a pattern is referred to as stochastic and the radiation is referred to as the Stochastic Gravitational Wave Background, or SGWB for short. Here's a set of possible stochastic background maps that could happen as detection methods improve over time. For reference purposes, I've included the maps that actually did happen with the Cosmic Microwave Background. The universe is currently separated into the observable where light travels across space relatively uninhibited for us to collect and analyze, and the unobservable, where light could not travel far. The demarcation line is the surface of last scattering that created the CMB. But any gravitational waves created during the unobservable time would have traveled across space and might still be with us today as part of the stochastic background. For example, as we covered in the How Old Is It video book on the Lambda Cold Dark Matter Big Bang Theory, the universe began with an extremely short period of exponential expansion called inflation that produced a radiation-only universe that cooled into a quark plasma. The phase transition from radiation to a quark plasma is similar to water's phase transition from liquid to gas in boiling water. Note that phase transitions do not create gravitational waves. But transitions like inflation, baryogenesis, and nucleosynthesis would start out as growing bubbles of the new state material inside the old state material, like the gas bubbles in liquid water, keeping in mind that even small bubbles could contain a percentage of all the mass in the universe. Bubble collisions would generate massive gravitational waves the search for the stochastic background is underway using very large numbers of pulsar timing arrays. Unlike the other gravitational wave signals, the stochastic background would just appear as noise in a single gravitational wave detector, assuming that the noise in each detector is statistically independent from one another and because the time average for noise is zero, multiple detectors can factor it out. In 2023, Pulsar Timing Array groups collectively announced that they have uncovered the first evidence for low-frequency gravitational waves permeating the cosmos. The next era of gravitational waves and cosmology has begun 